Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to try again something black and white. I'm really a fan of black and white but whatever I do I get grey. So today I'm gonna do a touch pour with a hair dryer to pour the paint around. You find a pretty detailed video on my channel, on an earlier video on why it's called like that and how it works in detail. So today I'm not necessarily explaining that uh, in detail but just checking it out. So what I want to do is two versions of black and white. So one is going to be the base in white and the puddle in black and the other one is going to be the base in black and the puddle in white. Also normally you do multiple puddles where you then uh, put a blanket of base color and spread it out. Uh, but yeah, as it's only one color actually on top, I assume that I'm fine with just putting one puddle. Um, so one color puddle, so perhaps I'm going to do two puddles. So let's see if I can make this work. For a Dutch pour you want the paint to be a little bit on the thin side, um, so I'm gonna need to add a little bit of water. Each of these colors uh, has only basically, let's say, one spoon of Floetrol and the rest just water. The purpose of a pouring medium is simply to hold the pigment connection together while you thin it down with water. I know there's a lot of recipes out there, so on my basic playlist you will find also a video on how things work in acrylic pouring, so what the background is what pouring medium does, well, how your paint works, how there is conditioners and how there is binders and, and all that kind of information that uh, could be helpful for you to make up your own mind of what works and what doesn't work for you. The base doesn't need to be too thick, just uh, just as a base layer. A little bit problematic is that you easily dilute the white or the black if you try to do that at the same time. So I'm going to switch out the, the gloves. There is a few air bubbles in the base now, so I'm going to torch those away. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm going to put the puddle or puddles and then swipe it around basically with the blow dry out. So this hair dryer is new. I'm just hoping it does what it's uh, what it's supposed to do. Well, it's it's basically about the the heat and the volume of how fast how good it can blow. Sorry guys, I totally missed the step. Of course, I still need the paint that I want to blow around. So the difficulty here is with specifically with the black and white is to not overdo it because what I get is gray. So at the sides there is a little bit of uh, white but it's not really going like that. Um, I'm gonna blow on it a bit. By blowing on it you have a pretty good chance to still get it into a more spread out pattern so that's really good. Uh, I think it's it turned out really nice so let me just touch it. You can see that there is some little cells that's basically from the air bubbles because there's no silicone in it. If you don't want that, have your paint sit a little bit more because I don't think it necessarily belongs into a, a Dutch pour. There you have more the lacing. The lacing kind of drowned into black and white. You see that much more if you have a color on white. But let's move to the other one. What is also tricky with having two puddles and paint around it is that you easily pile up paint in the middle where you have a tendency to crack. Okay, so this looks also pretty cool. Let me just blow on it a bit. I feel like I'm gonna faint, <laughs> but I think you could also use a straw. Again, lots of little cells. I like both. I have to say I'm pretty well, good, pleasantly surprised by the white on black, which I like really a lot. And yeah, I also like that one. Let's touch it. So 
So it's not necessarily the look exactly like a colored uh, Dutch pour. So it's it's different, um, but I really like it. I think I would duplicate this. Here it gave some more gray than I would like, and I spread it out in a way I don't like. But yeah, it's, it's always a bit coincidence also. So it's a matter of of taste and opinion. Both of them turned out pretty good. And uh, yeah, you don't have that lacing too much here. You have it a bit, but so that's, I think, why it looks different. And you could also use just uh, less paint specifically if you have two puddles. Okay, so I think that uh, turned out pretty good and interesting. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more. And I hope to see you back soon.